and Lexi Hart are X Factor. Sexy Lexi. Ooh, that's what I'm going to call you. Sexy Lexi from now on with your legs. That girl came out there and was burying threes like she was Kerr. Like she was Paxson to save the day. Like she was Curry. Hell. What's the guy's name? The mother Clay. She was Clay. She was Clay for the team. Splash Sisters. That's what we're going to call them. Super wet. Maybe we shouldn't add that last part to it, though. <laughs> You know how long I've been waiting for this? Ooh, I'm about to make a name for myself, yeah. MVP CC. MVP CC. Ooh, ooh. MVP CC. MVP CC. She's moving to the shooter, squeezing your crew, don't act like you don't know me. Her game is her trophy. Baby girl, it ain't no mystery. Best WM play in history. Her cross will make you throw up. I know you've seen that jumper. It's MVP CC. MVP CC. MVP CC. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what up, it's your boy Chocolate with the Sexy Body. Welcome to a new episode of Chocolate and Play your will. We back talking about CC. You know what it is. CC for MVP. Screw the rookie of the year race. That shit is over. We talk about the MVP, and we got a lot of people, a lot of people. Well, not a lot of people. It's probably like two or three of them that came in here and talking crap to me about me talking about CC for MVP. I'm talking about these boys that calling me stupid and shit. They calling me dumb for making these hot takes, but they hot takes. It's my opinion. And if you don't like my opinion, then, then I don't care. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what you want me to say. I, 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 I don't care. I don't care how you feel about what I think about this lady. She can ball. Y'all know she can ball. Do y'all see what she has done in these two games? She came back off of the break. She was killing it before the break. Going into the All-Star game, she was killing it. Yeah, she had an off-game shooting in the All-Star game. Who cares? But she was assisting everywhere. Dimes, here, there, everywhere. Here, you want your shit? Here, take it. There. Oh, oh, I see you open. Ah. Quarterback. That's that's her. That's CeCe. That's what this woman has brought to the WNBA to put the asses in the seats. They're putting the money into the media Right? They're going to put money in these girls' pockets. I told y'all already. She out there writing the checks that these old bitties' asses could not cash. Checks is bouncing from them old ladies. They bouncing. Everything y'all said, y'all got to eat what y'all said. Eat the crow. Eat the doo-doo. Eat it. Put it in your mouth. Suck on it. Ooh, do this so good. That's y'all right now. CC. thank you. I want to say thank you, CC. I want to say thank you for you being you, keeping your composure through all these trying times. How everybody has so much negative stuff to say about you, and you overcame it all. That's the thing that people need to understand. She was able to overcome all of that nonsense. And I had a commenter, right? Thank you for commenting on my stuff. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for sliding through for your boy. But I had a commenter, and he was like, ain't no damn way that CC finna get no MVP. She's not even in the top 20. Well, by ESPN standards, she is 15th. She's ranked 15th. And do you see this girl's stats? She's number one in assist, number 11 in scoring. Number 11 in scoring. This girl is ranked 20th in blocks. No, 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 I'm sorry. 20th in rebounds. I believe she's 14th in blocks. All these things from this woman that they talking about is not qualified to be in consideration for MVP. How? Who's ahead of her? Who's doing the absolute most for their team right now, putting them into a good position going into the playoffs? Asia, of course. Brianna Stewart, of course. Who over there for the Sun is making it happen? Alyssa Thomas? Who we going to take from the, the Minnesota Lynx? N Nafisha, that's her name? Kalia, whatever her damn name is. Who we taking? Who we putting in there? Who? Jewel Lloyd? Who we putting in there? Because CC right now over the last five to ten games is playing better than all of them, probably except for Asia. And probably Brianna Stewart. But I don't care about that. She beat Brianna Stewart. They beat their ass. They beat them. They beat the Minnesota Lynx. They beat the Seattle Storm. They beat the Mercury three times. The only teams that they haven't beat that's at the top is the Suns and the Aces. That is it. They get two more shots against the Aces. They got one more against the Sun. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. They're going to win that Suns game. That game is on my birthday. I already said it. Birthday gift for your boy. That's going to be my birthday gift. That's what I want. I don't want nothing else. I want to win for CC. And they got two more against the Aces. They're going to get one out of those two. They're going to get one out of those two because 
the, there's only so many times, right? There's only so many ways you can beat somebody before they figure out how to beat you. And for them to already have learned how to beat the Mercury going into today, game one, that's trouble for them. That's trouble for a team that got three Olympians on there. And this team is able to run their asses all up and down the court. That's the FIBA's formula. Run the other team's ass up and down the court till they can't go no more. That's what you do. That's what you do if you are the fever. CC is leading a charge right now. She's leading it. And everybody who got anything negative to say about her have been the people who have been talking stupid about her in the beginning, way before any of this. Anybody who's been talking about her, this is, this is the repercussions. All this is the repercussions that you guys have set up for yourselves. Her team right now is balling as a whole, as a unit. Listen, when you got the number one pick from last year, the number one pick from last year is not your leading score. Right. She's she's leading in rebounds. She's leading the team in rebounds. They top pick from last year who some people are saying that they would take over Asia. Some people are saying they would rather have Boston over Asia. But I just think that's people just being biased. That they, this is really fever fans and they just really going against Asia because I ain't, hey, I take Asia. Can y'all imagine Asia and CC link up? That is deadly. That is deadly. I mean, already the way she plays with Boston. What do you think would happen if she was to team up with, uh, with Asia? And I don't want to do that hypothetical shit when you take one person and put them on the other team because CC doesn't match up very well for, to be on the Aces team when she's already a guard. That's a guard-heavy team, right? Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Keep Kelsey, who I might add is balling. Kelsey, thank you. Thank you for weathering the storm. Kelsey Mitchell is... Uh, uh, X Factor. Her and Lexi Hall are X Factor. Sexy Lexi. Ooh, that's what I'm going to call you. Sexy Lexi from now on with your legs. That girl came out there and was burying threes like she was Kerr. Like she was Paxson to save the day. Like she was Curry. Hell. What's the guy's name? The mother Clay. She was Clay. She was Clay for the team. Splash Sisters. That's what we're going to call them. Super wet. Maybe we shouldn't add that last part to it, though. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't see it, say that because, you know, if you know what I know, then, you know, anyway, this team right now is balling MVP consideration. Who's ahead of her? Who do y'all got ahead of CC right now for the MVP besides Asia? We all know Asia. Everybody talk about Asia, 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 because, I mean, she's leading her team that has a team of four Olympians on it. And she's the leader on that team and she's outscoring everybody. She's rebounding. She's everything. So, yeah. She's a damn good player. Damn good player. But I might add that CeCe is the most valuable player to her team. Because even if Asia has an off night, you still got three other people that can go out there and score buckets. They get your buckets. Jackie, Young, Chelsea Gray, who, who's right now, she's playing shitty. She's playing very, very shitty. I mean, uh, she's old too. But I bet, I bet she still can get your buckets. She can get your assist. She, they, they call her the point guard. That's what they call that woman. And then Kelsey Plum. I know how y'all know how I feel about Kelsey. I told y'all Kelsey. She's she's sneakily cute. She's sneakily handsome. She's handsome cute. You ever seen you know that girl so fast and bouncing like a damn bunny rabbit? That team is stacked, but they can be beaten. They can be beaten once you neutralize one of those key players. All you gotta do is neutralize one of them. And I believe it's Asia. If you take Asia out of the equation, everybody else gonna struggle. Because Kelsey's game runs, Kelsey Plum's game run through Asia. Assist, she giving it to her. Same thing with Jackie. If they getting any kind of assist, hey, they finding her. But she also know how to create her own buckets. Asia is that dude. You know what I mean. <laughs> but she's the shit. She's the shit over there for that team. But I ain't taking nothing from the Fever right now. Nothing from them. We got, they got the people that can match up. They got the people that can match up. You put... Uh, Kaylin on Kelsey, you put Mitchell on Jackie Young, you put Naisa Smith on uh, Gray, right, and Boston on Asia. But you continue a rotation of Boston and Smith just rotating on her ass, double teaming, getting the ball out of her hands because she can create her own shot. You got to get the ball out of her hands and make them play through everybody else. Then you can win. See, they didn't get a chance to play them like this yet. This team, how they're playing right now, has not played the Aces yet. They haven't. That's why they was able to beat Minnesota. That's why they was able to beat the Mercury those three times in a damn row. Because this team has jailed. They've come together. There's camaraderie right now. They have had time to meet up and learn each other. 
CeCe's had a break. She's had time to get her legs back up under her. I feel bad for whoever the next opponent is. And the next opponent is the damn Lynx. Cheryl Reavers with her damn uh, stank ass gonna come up in there with another one of them t-shirts. Let's see what shirt she wear this game. This is how she try to troll CeCe in this game. Because the shit backfired. I hope you do something stupid again. I hope it backfire you on your ass. Because CeCe is out there making shit happen. Get them girls contracts. Get them some money for the WNBA. I'm tired. They make about as money as the average person. $75,000. Well, that's not average person make like about 50 or some shit like that. But hey, hey, they got a good paying job for somebody who's not playing a professional sport. How about that? They get paid well enough for a person who's not playing a professional sport. But these women are playing a professional sport and getting $75,000. I want my damn money. Why don't people want to pay these players? Why don't want to play them? Just like Dallas, right? We got to get into it. Because I know you've seen the thumbnail. We got to get into it. CD, Dallas is always shooting themselves in the damn foot. They always got some kind of damn controversy going on over there. Some shit happening that ain't got nothing to do with football. Why y'all don't want to pay this man? Why? Why y'all don't want to pay Dak? Michael Parsons coming up. You ain't going to want to pay him either. And you know what? I think people thought they want to, to throw this out there that it was a white and black thing, right? Because they paid Tony Romo. They paid uh, players like Troy Aikman and Jason Witten. They, they paid all of them. Zach Martin. They paid all those players, right? Some of the players still hold, held out. They don't talk about that part. They just talk about the fact that they got paid and they have to go through this kind of abuse. Everybody's going through this kind of abuse in the NFL. I don't want to have to pay you. Because your ass can get hurt. And if you get hurt, that's millions of dollars that I didn't gave you. On top of that, I didn't gave you a guaranteed contract. Have y'all not seen the decline of all those players who decide, you know what? I'm not going to play. I'm not going to pay until y'all pay me. I'm not playing. I don't give a damn. I stay at home. Y'all can find me all y'all want. I don't care. Have y'all seen the decline that they have? All of them do. Zeke, Zeke is one of the main people to look at right now because he's a Dallas Cowboy who got cut. Then they brought his ass back. They brought his ass back for the, for the low. For the low. I'm not going to pay you as no quality back. No, I'm not paying nobody quality money as a back no more. That's your Christian McCaffrey or, or, or Saquon. I'm not giving nobody no money because, hell, I could go get a running back in the fourth, fifth round. And they pan out. Look at Pollard and all those running backs like that. Dude, those guys shine. They shine in the right system. But you cannot do this to CD. That shit is stupid. You hurt him and the team. Look, you hurt him because I don't want to play. I'm CD. I don't want to play. I don't want to practice. I'm staying my black ass at home and play Madden all day. Right? He might get up and go to the gym. He might get up and work out, but it's not the type of working out that he's going to be doing if he was out there on the field with his comrades. It's different when you got the pass on and you're hitting each other. The timing, everything has to be on point. And he's not on point if his ass ain't coming to practice. So that's going to hurt him. And a team, because it's production when they get out there. They're going to be off. This is a lose-lose for him and that team when it comes to production. But it's a win-win for us as when it comes to his money, because he's going to get his money. He's going to get his money, period. You think he really care about sitting out games? How much he getting fined right now? Because I guarantee you, however much he getting fined, his ass will be able to pay for it once he get that big-ass check. You don't care about that. This is the National Football League. This is one of the roughest sports that you will ever see in professional sports history. Football, gladiator sport. The motherfuckers run each other full speed, full speed, 20 miles per hour, two big 250, 300 pound dudes running each other full speed. That's not supposed to happen. Have y'all ever seen the, the, the car commercials, right, where they put the dummies in the car seats and they show y'all the impact of how these cars fold up when they get hit? Imagine if that was you out there with them football pads running to each other full speed like that and your head doing all this shit and jerking back and forth. That right there give you whiplash. I don't know if y'all know about whiplash. I had whiplash and that shit messed up my neck bad. I'm talking about slip disc all in my neck. You only, I think you only got six of them bitches that's supposed to be stable and I messed up five of them. So I'm telling you out there, get your damn money. See, they don't care about what they say to you. Let that damn uh, owner, Jerry Jones, sit up there and talk that crazy shit about how he, he's okay with the team. Everything's going to be fine. No, this is what Jerry Jones does. He's been doing this shit for years and it's not going to change until his ass is gone. It's never going to change. Don't y'all see? That's a $10 billion organization. 
and they ain't won shit in over 30 years. Over 30 years. And you got all the people who talk about the damn Dallas Cowboys are so damn great. Look, you can't talk about some people who ain't been to no damn Super Bowl as long as they didn't play. And you want to compare them to Pittsburgh and Green Bay and the 49ers who have all been to the Super Bowl in the last 20 years? This team ain't did shit. This team won like two playoff games in the last, what, 20 years? That is unacceptable. Dak Prescott got two playoff wins. How many of Tony Romo got? One. That is unacceptable. It's mediocrity. And it's crazy that that mediocrity has gotten this damn team $10 million. And you know why? Because all those fans who cannot let go of the past, Thanos' ass was right. If you still got people that's alive from the past, they will never let that shit go. They will never let it go. Thanos is right. Snap them. We just snap their asses up out of here. The whole team. Everybody, get them out of here. Start, restart. Get them out of here. This is pathetic. Snap that shit for all these football players. They soft this shit any goddamn way. Have y'all seen the boy Tua and his comments? Have y'all seen his comments on this coach Brian, whatever, Brian Flares or whatever the hell his damn name is, right? Everybody out there is like, oh my God, Tua, it's, it's a shame that you have to go through that kind of abuse. We feel sorry for you. Now we know why you was playing like that. Look, man, I'm from the old school. I'm from the old school. And where I'm from, that is capital S. O-F-T, soft, soft that that man is right now. You can't, no, hell no. I'm not buying any of it, any of it. Did you hear what the man said? He was saying that this man, is, it's a shame to have to hear your coach or anybody tell you that you suck or you sorry and that they won't, they wish somebody else was in your spot every single day. That man said that sometimes you start to believe that. You are weak-minded. You are in the National Football League. I watched you win a national title after Jalen Hurts couldn't get it done. They benched his ass and they put you in the game. You're supposed to be tough and ready for this shit. You're supposed to have a tough mentality. Those words should not bother you. Let that coach talk his shit. Let him say whatever the hell he got to say. You go out there and prove yourself. You know what you just did to it? You just opened up the floodgates on your ass. You just showed your hand. You showed how weak you are and how you can crumble under pressure. If I'm a, a defensive lineman, I'm talking shit to you all game long. Hey, Tua. I'm coming for your weak ass. You ain't ready for this. They should have signed Justin Herbert. They should have got Justin. They shouldn't have got you, Tua. That's going to get to him. He already showed me that that works. You see, y'all probably over looking at me like, oh, man, you being real harsh right now, bro. Like, you, sh you should understand, especially since you like the person that deals with a lot of the mental. That's right. I do deal with a lot of the mental. And that's why I can say what I'm saying about Tua. Because he is mentally broken. He is fragile. And I can get in his head and take him out the game. This is competition. This is competition, and I can get into your head and knock you out. I can knock you off your game. Now, that coach was, he was wrong, because I do not believe that you have to continue to lead by shit like that, talking crazy to people. I was in the military, till I was in the military, and all of that shit, people yelling at you all the damn time, get down, jump up, push-ups, all this shit. To me, it was ineffective. It was ineffective because I knew the mission. I knew it. I was 33 years old when I went into the military. Out there with all these little kids, I used to bust their ass. I used to drag their ass all around out there, around them field running and shooting. I was the best. Shit, shit. I earned my, my tambourine. I earned my tambourine. So I'm telling you, I was the best when I was out there. And I dealt with all that chatter. All that chatter. And you know what? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. All the shit that they said, all the stuff that they talked about people, it wasn't me. So it didn't affect me. Tua. You got to calcify your mind. You got to calcify your mind. You just really showed your hand right now to all the people in the NFL. Now, all these, all these viewers, right, all the fans and stuff like that, they're looking at it like, man, bravo. Bravo for speaking up and speaking your mind and showing them that how harsh it could be in the NFL. But everybody else who play the game, like, oh, we got your ass, Tua. We got you, yo. You already can't play in the cold. You already can't play in cold weather. Go look at your damn record. You're under 500. Against, against, and then against teams that's 500, you way below, right? And I heard from Stephen A, because Stephen A put this out there that, man, you didn't have Tyreek Hill, right? You didn't have all these speeches or these, these players that you have on offense that you have right now. So, of course, you probably was going to play like some trash. But now you got these good players, and now you're playing great. I bet you if that coach was still talking shit to you, you still would play great because you got the great players around you. You're just using that as a crutch, you're using that in this time right now as one of those things to have people feel sorry for you and have pity for you. I don't. I don't got pity for none of that shit. I don't. You're soft. Get your shit together.
because they're going to be gunning for your ass. Trust me. All of y'all, even on that wide receiver show that was on Netflix, y'all watch that show? Devontae Adams, all that, they sound real soft, real weak. What's it, St. Raw? I'm a Raw, St. Raw, whatever his name is, the, the receiver for the Lions. The motherfucker caught a pass and, and, and slid. He slid. I thought I was wrong for having a problem with it. But after he went and talked to his coach, and his coach was like, you slid out there, bro? He's like, yeah, I slid. I'm, I'm trying to preserve my career. Like, I'm not trying to get hit like that out there. You play football. You're going to get hit. The, the name of the game is yards. Dive if you don't want to get You sliding and shit. You giving up the play. Run out of bounds. You scared to get hit. I know this now. So you know what I do? I knock the shit out of him. I, out of Amara Say Brown, whatever his name is. I knock his ass out. I don't care. Give me the flag. But you know what? His ass ain't going to never come over the middle again, ever, because he's already scared. He already showed y'all his hand. These players are showing y'all their hands in the NFL, and that's why I'm going to continue to rock with people like Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey, because they talk big shit and they back it up. They, they feel like they from an era for where I'm from, from the 80s, where these boys went out there and they talk mad shit to you and they gave it to your ass on a daily basis. But these new boys, I don't know about these new guys. I don't know about these new guys, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm over them. I'm over them. They straight. I'm just saying. I'm over it. I'm over them. I'm done. Guys, look. Thank y'all for, for the time. 20 minutes. I wasn't trying to go this long. CC, you know what it is. I went this long because I added two more factors into my, my daily shows, right? Into my daily videos. But pay CD. Just go ahead and get this damn uh, uh, situation under wraps. Because I'm tired of hearing about the Dallas Cowboys for everything else besides them playing football. That's the reason why they ain't done nothing else. They had no production on the damn field because they got too much drama off the field. We worry about this man money for. But you got to pay him. Because, shit, if I'm a football player and you ain't paying me, I'm risking my life out there. Shit, I can't. I see boys get hurt in practice. ACL tears, MCL, PCL. Look at, look at Aaron Rodgers. Four plays and his ass towards Achilles. He didn't even get hit. It's a dangerous sport. And you're putting your body on the line. Get your money. CC. MVPCC. I said it here. That's what I'm running with, guys. Look, I thank y'all for y'all time. I appreciate everything for y'all. Hey, man, if you're new to the channel, you know what you got to do. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button so you know when your boy drop videos and live streams. I'm doing them all the time. We got a game coming up. I believe it's on Saturday. We're going to do the post-game interview. We might do a pre-game interview, too. But until then, we right here. We right here. I thank y'all for y'all time, man. This is CC News. This is NFL News. It's whatever. Is there anything that's going on out there in the world that y'all want to get acclimated with? This is informative. Right? It's informative. And haters keep on hating. Keep on coming back because I like those conversations too. Y'all take care. Peace. Peace.